Hello everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and today I'm presenting another sweet ride. I'm sitting behind the wheel of an absolutely beautiful 1965 Sunbeam Tiger MK1 that is a piece of artwork. You gotta check this out. To start off this uh, presentation here, uh, this is a non-rehearsed video. I'm sure there's gonna be some information that I do forget, so please visit our website at msclassiccars.com for a complete description with tons of highly detailed photos. We really go above and beyond with our photography, so please make sure to check out all the photos that we've listed. Uh, if you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, please note that I've only, since the inception, collected number one and number two condition vehicles. We are very proud to say that we're the only classic car dealership in the country that services everything we sell. We document that work with an invoice. As an example, with this beautiful vehicle here, I have this brand new binder and this invoice, which clearly documents all the work that we've done, totaling $5,291.13. I will say it over and over again, Regardless of who the restorer is, who the builder is, whether the car is factory correct or custom, all classic cars need to be sorted out. We eliminate the surprises for the new owner. And again, it's what really separates us from the rest of the crowd. Once the vehicles are done being serviced, we spend countless hours detailing these vehicles from top to bottom to make them as cosmetically perfect as we can. Again, we really, really go above and beyond what you can see in the photos that we present. Once the vehicles are done in the detail process, I personally will handle all of your paperwork. Uh, everything will go very smooth on that end. I will also assist in the shipping to the lower US 40 states. And again, once the vehicles are loaded into the carrier, we cover them with a plastic cover to ensure they arrive at your doorstep as clean as they left our showroom here today. So that's kind of an overview of MS Classic Cars. Again, I'm very proud of it. You can reference 750 soul cars on our website. Make sure to check it out. Again, do your homework. Starting off uh, the presentation on this particular car, we've had a beautiful uh, Tiger in the past uh, that we sold um, last year in August. Uh, it was a epic uh, sale. It was a great car. Um, anyway, you got to check that out on our soul page. We currently now in our service department, we have a 64, a very early Tiger. Uh, it's kind of a resto mod. It's a really beautiful car that we should be listing in the next few months. Uh, very proud of that. And this is actually my third Tiger that I'm sitting in here today. Uh, this is a very, very special car. So I'm going to read uh, the first paragraph. Um, that I have composed. Uh, I typically will take a bunch of information, history, just some, you know, some facts that people might or might not know. Talk a little bit about the car. This is the first paragraph on our website, just to give you the quick uh, version. So this stunning 1965 Sunbeam Tiger MK1 was the product of a documented rotisserie restoration and is in show quality throughout. Uh, just to add a note on that, you will notice when you look at these cars, um, I would kind of say it's similar to maybe like a Porsche 356. 
Uh, I don't know why, but most of the time when you look at those cars, people just don't restore them to a high level. It kind of reminds me a lot of the Sunbeam Tigers. I would probably say that 98% of the ones that I have seen, people just kind of go halfway on the restorations. They might have a nice paint job, but then you look at the interior, it's not so nice. The engine bay, undercarriage, etc. cetera. Uh, it just is a car that you don't find people go above and beyond with. So when you do find one uh, that is done from top to bottom to a high quality, it is definitely a rare piece. And those are the ones that I'm personally attracted to. This vehicle here, was listed in the Tiger Registry by Tiger expert Norman Miller, which I personally verified with Tiger expert Bill Martin of Roots Group Depot. Uh, I did that in July of 22. Um, Bill and I have actually become friendly. Uh, Bill actually sold me um, uh, the Norman Miller's book that he published, uh, The Book of Norman. Uh, it's kind of a rare thing. Uh, I purchased it. I'm proud to have it. It just gives you a ton of information that was documented about the Tigers and so forth. Uh, so anyway, Bill is kind of the predecessor of uh, Norman. Norman's not in great health, so he kind of turned everything over uh, to Bill. And now Bill is the, the leader, so to speak, in the field. And we're proud to know him. Uh, him and I will definitely do some things uh, in the future. The Sunbeam Tiger uh, is a high-performance V8 version of the British Roots uh, Group Sunbeam Alpine Roadster, designed in part by American car designer and racing driver Carroll Shelby. I don't know if many people know this or not, but Carroll Shelby had a lot to do with this particular car. His influence had a great, great deal uh, in designing it, building it, etc. Um, he had carried out a similar V8 conversion on the AC Cobra and helped to be offered uh, the contract to produce the Tiger at his facility in the United States. Roots decided instead to contract the assembly work to Jensen at West Bromwich in England and pay Shelby a royalty on every car that was produced. Uh, from the information I've also gathered, Ken Miles had a lot to do with putting the V8 engine in these cars. Um, in regards to Ken Miles, we actually have the 1966 Shelby uh, Group 2 Mustang that we're going to be selling soon. Um, and that car was built for Ken Miles. So again, his influence is also in this car, which just kind of makes the whole thing very uh, interesting for us MS Classic Cars. Um, so you got to really do your homework on uh, the Carroll Shelby deal with this particular car. I think you'll find it really interesting. So a total of 7,085 were produced from 1964 to 1967. That is a very, very low production number for all Sunbeam Tigers. Again, these cars are pretty rare. Uh, the first model was designated as the MK1, which is what this car is, which was produced from April 1964 to April of 1965, totaling 3,763 units. This example was built late 1965 uh, as a 65 model. It retains its original body tag and chassis tag. From the information I've gathered, uh, this example was found with only 27,230 miles on the odometer. It was in incredibly well-preserved condition after being in storage for 37 years by its second owner in Texas. To bring this Tiger uh, MK1 back to its glory, a no expense spare of rotisserie restoration was commissioned. The restoration was completed in 2012 and has less than 700 miles since completion. This car sports its original color combination of Arctic white exterior with a red interior, which is extremely rare. Talking uh, with Bill Martin, he said, uh, the color combination of this car, which is what it was born with, was very, very rare, which makes this car very collectible uh, in the Tiger community. The car is powered uh, by a period correct 4260 V8 engine and four speed transmission, uh, which are both believed to be original to the vehicle. This Tiger MK1 is equipped with some uh, LAT, which is the Los Angeles Tiger uh, options, such as the cast uh, alloy wheels, which is LAT9, and a limited slip differential with 354 gears, which is the LAT50 and 53. This is a wonderful example of a very special Tiger MK1, a photo album of the restoration and copy of the Texas title from 2012 is included. So it's nice because not with every car do you get restoration photos. 
Uh, the gentleman who restored this car put together this really nice book here. This kind of shows the car when it was originally found. Um, a lot of this is pictured within our photo gallery, so you can check it out. You can see the original red interior. You can see a lot of the engine parts. Uh, here's another picture of the interior. You can see the original body tag that I just mentioned earlier. This truly documents the car was taken down to bare metal. Uh, everything was, was done to the body and so forth to make it as straight as possible. It was gapped right. Look at the undercarriage. Absolutely solid and beautiful. Again, everything was primed. It was painted. Uh, they did a magnificent job. Here's a picture of the transmission, all the suspension work, the motor, pictures of the car during its final assembly, and then once the car was completed. So again, all that information is documented. It can be seen in our gallery. And the binder, besides the invoice that I mentioned earlier, um, I did pull this off of a website, uh, Tigers United Online, that just shows you production numbers and so forth. That's included. Uh, this is the description when I purchased the vehicle that kind of tells some of the story. This is the title uh, that I mentioned from Texas. Again, just kind of documents everything uh, as it goes. Um, so speaking to the gentleman that actually did uh, the restoration on this car, I was able to track him down, um, kind of just told me the whole story. Um, but the one thing I wanted to verify with him was the sheet metal. I had asked him if the car had had any sheet metal replacement. And he said all of the sheet metal on this car was original. So this is a all original sheet metal car. Uh, the body is in beautiful condition. I would say that it's very straight. All the gaps are really nice. The hood opens and closes beautiful. So does the door, so does the trunk lid. It really has been put together very, very well. The car was again finished in its original color of the Arctic white. This is a beautiful color. It's a really bright white. They did a absolutely gorgeous job on the paint. This is a show quality paint job. Uh, the guys in our detail department, again, put it through our paint correction process that we have here to bring it to its highest level. And everything on this car that you see in all of our photos was replaced new. I'm talking about the front windshield, I'm talking about the chrome trim, talking about this mirror, um, the uh, headlights, the bumpers, the moldings, the door handles, everything uh, right down to the emblems was replaced new. The wheels were refinished. Those are, again are the LAT wheels. They were refinished. Um, just to tell you what, I'm gonna reference my notes here regarding the uh, wheels. Um, they are, again, the LAT9 cast aluminum wheels. They have the black center with the tiger in the center cap. And the wheels are wrapped with Michelin A uh, XASFF uh, and they're 165 HR 13 tires. So I just wanna make sure I covered that. Um, so again, when you look at the exterior of this vehicle, it's in beautiful shape. You will notice in some of our photos in the photo gallery, we have the top uh, connected and everything else. The top was stretched out really nice because most of the time uh, the top sits in the back. Sometimes they can get a little bit wrinkly and so forth. So we purposely left it attached for a while, put it out in the sun, let it stretch out nice and it fits really well. Uh, again, not always the case with these cars. So again, it, you gotta check out the photos. The combination of the black top with the white and the red interior is absolutely stunning. Even the wheels with the black kind of pick up the black top. When you look at this uh, interior here, um, again, everything in this interior was replaced. It is one of the most gorgeous interiors I personally have seen on a Tiger. Uh, when I look at this, it's just, it's breathtaking is what it is. It's absolutely beautiful. The dash pad is in beautiful condition. All of this wood is flawless. It's a kind of a darker, uh, walnut colored wood. It's in beautiful condition. All of the uh, gauges, all these black gauges are trimmed with chrome bezels, which look beautiful. All the gauges are in great working order. A uh, black steering column. It's got this really nice uh, wood wheel here. Again, the tops of these door panels match the top of the dash pad. They're black. They're new. All of the door panels are brand new. Uh, the kicker panels are brand new. The carpeting's brand new. Um, it's got this really nice uh, center console uh, here, which opens up for extra storage. You got a little ashtray. It's got a really nice uh, shifter here. Um, it's just in beautiful condition. Uh, I would say really the entire thing is new. And again, everything is in good working order. Um, even the rear view mirror is new. When you look in the trunk compartment, we took some pictures of what it looks like back there. You kind of have that factory 
um, uh, enclosure. It's all black. You can see where everything is nice. Um, and then that's where the battery is located back there. Uh, the spare and so forth, your tools, everything is in the back. Everything is really, really clean and presentable. When you uh, open the hood here, as we have in this video, you will clearly see how detailed the engine bay is, the entire bulkhead, the firewall, the inner fenders, everything was painted body color, obviously when it was on the rotisserie, and uh, they did an absolutely beautiful job uh, putting everything back together. At MS Classic Cars, we added some flavor to it as well. We did a couple of little things just to take it to the highest level that we possibly could, but it came out really, really nice. I am gonna just touch base here on a few things. As I mentioned earlier, the car is powered by a period correct 260. We date coded the engine, uh, went through it all, we believe that the engine uh, is original to the vehicle based on all the dates and so forth. Bill Martin helped me a little bit with that. But these Tigers, um, they had VIN numbers that were on these little plaques that sat on the valve covers. And over the years and years and years, if those tags ever came unglued or were taken off or the valve cover got replaced or whatever, um, there would be no VIN number on the engine block. So I can't say that the engine is original to the car because I don't have that original tag, but it is a period correct 260 V8. It was clearly rebuilt. Uh, it runs beautiful. We did a really nice job going through it at MS Classic Cars in our service department. Um, so the engine is uh, obviously dressed with the chrome valve covers. It does have a Cobra intake. We installed a brand new Holly Quick Fuel 450 CFM carburetor, and it does have a Cobra finned oil pan. Uh, again, everything was replaced during the restoration, the wiring, the hoses, the clamps, the coil, the distributor, the spark plug wires, the brake booster, the washer bottle, uh, the radiator, the overfill, it just goes on and on. Again, this is a very comprehensive and very expensive restoration. The engine breathes through factory manifolds and a stainless steel dual exhaust system that has a really nice tone that you're gonna hear in a minute. The engine is coupled to a period correct four speed transmission, which has also been completely rebuilt and shifts smoothly. It is believed that the transmission is also original to this vehicle. Um, again, engine transmission is again, believed to be original to the vehicle. Um, the power is transferred to the limited slip differential, which I mentioned earlier in the video, and it does have 3.54 uh, gears. Uh, the rear end is also believed to be original to the vehicle as well. The undercarriage of this car, once again, as I mentioned earlier, it's really hard to find a Tiger that's got a super straight body and show quality paint with all new appointments. And then when you get into the interior and you see something where it's truly nut and bolt, same thing with the engine bay, it's very difficult but finding one that has an undercarriage that's actually detailed um, is even tougher. This vehicle is very, very detailed underneath. You can clearly see here when they did this restoration, uh, again, you can reference this book in our photo gallery, but you'll see this one picture here that I was showing earlier. They actually painted the entire bottom side of the car kind of in a um, textured paint. It's like a black textured paint. A lot of times people will do that for durability and things of that nature, um, so they did that. Everything was restored underneath this car, including the fuel tank, the lines, all the steering components, the power braking components, uh, the front discs uh, on the brakes, the suspension. It even has the red uh, Coney shock. So again, make sure to check out all the photos of the undercarriage. When we put this car on our lift, we even do pictures from the side so you can actually see the body line on our lift. We take two or three photos from that angle of each side so you can clearly see how nice the vehicle is and how nice it wraps around the bottom side of the car. So make sure to check out those photos. So in closing, um, I will ask, if you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, please do that. At MS Classic Cars, that is the best way to follow us. We have thousands of people that are on our email blast. Please also uh, like us on Facebook and YouTube, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. We, we're all over social media. We would really appreciate you doing that. Um, in closing here, before I start the car, I will say that MS Classic Cars, we are not a high volume, big dealership. We don't do consignments. We're not even open to the public. Everything is in-house. Uh, we, we, again, we do things at a high level here. 
We're a different company. We're very proud of what we do. So please do your homework on us. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and start this vehicle. Let you listen how beautiful it runs. I will be clear. This is not a cold start. Um, I did start this vehicle. We actually, right before this video, let it warm up for a few minutes. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start it and show you how awesome it sounds and how great she runs. Okay. Appreciate you watching. That's all there is to it. Fires right up and it runs absolutely beautiful. Appreciate you watching. Thanks again.